comes the missile. Damn. That was devastating. Call artillery support in your scenarios using this GUI menu. Pig Artillery Menu GUI created by Pig13BR. We are on the Pig Artillery Menu GUI GitHub page. I will link this in the description of the video. That way you guys can access it and download the script and use it in your scenarios. So what I'm going to show you guys today is how to download the script, set it up in your scenarios, and use it. Now just a note, this script has a demonstration mission that you could use to basically just check out the script and that's what we're going to use today to download the script what you're going to do is you're going to go to this green box here that says code you're going to click on the arrow and then you're going to go down to where it says download script click on that give it a few seconds and a browse box will open up and basically you're going to save the zip file into a folder of your choice so i'm going to save it into my new videos folder the script has been saved and here it is in my videos folder. You're basically going to open up the zip and you're going to go into the zip and you're going to see that pig artillery menu GUI main. You're just going to extract this, just grab it and pull it out, put it into your existing folder, close the zip file. You could delete the zip if you want, but you have this now. So let's open up the folder. You're going to get a few files. One is going to say demonstration, then you're going to have mission framework. Now mission framework, if we open that, has all the scripts. So this is all the scripts and all the functions that you need for your mission. If we go to this folder here, demonstration, and you open this, this is the demonstration mission. We're going to open this folder up and you're going to see it only has a mission SQM. So this demonstration mission will not have any artillery ability you will not be able to call any artillery or anything because the scripts are not in it so what we need to do is we're going to copy these scripts right here from the mission framework and we're just going to drag them into demonstration mission and close the mission framework folder and now you should have in this folder here which is this folder is all the scripts in there so we can close this for the moment. We're going to move this mission into our mission folder. So I have this up already for me. Locate your mission folder. It's going to be either under C drive or whatever drive you have it on. It's going to be under users, your username, documents, ARMA3, your username, and then missions. So this mission is on Stratus. So we're going to basically take this mission here. And we're going to drag it into the Stratus folder, and that will install the mission. So we're going to close this. I'm going to close my missions folder. I'm going to close these folders. And what we're going to do is we're going to go into the editor and load up this mission. And I'm going to show you guys how to set this up. All right, we are now in game. Let's go to the editor. And let's choose Stratus. Let's go to the open scenario folder at the top. And you should have this mission already installed. So we're going to go down to Stratus. And just click on Date Modified. The demonstration mission should be at the top. So just click on that. And then the file name, it should be GUI Artillery Menu V2. Let's open it. Let's take a look at what the author put together here. So here we have a little scenario with a task. Trigger some waypoints and some enemies. And then here we have the player. And then over here, we have an M6 mortar. M6 mortar, and this was named RD1. And then if we go out to the map, we have another asset over here, which is the M4 scorcher. He named it RD2. So let's go into the mission folder. I'm going to show you guys how this is set up for these artillery pieces. So go to scenario and then down to where it says open scenario folder. You're going to go to rd preset.sqf. And what you're going to find here is artillery support list. And here he has an array setup. 
and you can see the name RD1, which is the mortar, and RD2, which is the M4 scorcher. So let's actually add a third asset to this. So what you're going to do is you're going to put a comma, you're going to hit enter, and let's name the third asset artillery piece RD3. So once you name it, then you don't need a comma. You can just leave it as it is, but if you're going to add another artillery piece to it, then you put a comma and then you put the name. But for this one, since we only got three, you only need the comma after the first two. So that after that, just save it. All right, let's go back in game and place this new asset. Let's place a third artillery piece. So we're going to go to artillery and then we're going to choose an M5 sandstorm. Make sure you place, place it with crew. And then we'll place it right about here. And we'll face it this direction. And we'll name it RD3. Hit OK, and that's it. So now we'll just save the mission and let's test out the mission. Move up to this rock over here. And see what's going on. So we have some enemy here. To access the artillery, all you need to do is scroll your action menu, and you're going to see open artillery menu. You just click it, click that, and then you're going to have this GUI that comes up, and you're going to have the map that you're on, and basically whatever you looked at real time is going to show up on the map. So this is the target right here. What you're going to do is basically just click on where you want the artillery to hit, so just click on target and then at the top left here you're going to choose your target. So we have a mortar, we have the scorcher, and we have the sandstorm which we just added. So let's choose sandstorm and we'll choose the ammunition. So just choose the ammunition which is only one. Choose the rounds, we'll just choose one round and we'll fire it. So once it fires you're going to get the countdown here which is 40 seconds and the description of what artillery piece that you used. And we just close that and wait for the artillery to come in and rain and hell on these guys. Here it is. Alright, let's open the artillery menu again. And let's call another artillery strike. And this one will choose the scorcher. This one will choose a 155mm HE shell. And we'll just choose one round. Click on fire. You can see the icon will turn red. All right, you can hear the gun shooting. Here it comes. three shells and let's do another missile strike we we'll do the sandstorm again and let's hit fire actually mortar fire You could hear the mortar in the background.
comes the missile. Damn. That was devastating. I didn't kill all the targets. Still a couple guys left. You guys left. Alright, let's open the menu. Let's see if we can hit these guys. We use the mortar for this. behind the wall. Rounds complete. did it. Alright guys, hope you liked that. Hope you find this script useful for your missions. I will link the GitHub page for the script in the description of the video, like I said before, for more codes and scripts. Take a look at this playlist.